Welcome to the Walk Talks podcast, a resource produced by Southland Christian Ministries located in Ringgold, Louisiana. Our purpose is to provide you with daily devotions so that you can faithfully grow in your relationship with Christ each and every day. We hope these truths will be an encouragement to you as you hear from God's Word today. Well, hello again, and welcome back to the Walk Talks podcast. So glad to be with you uh, one final time this week, and hope that you've had a good week, a good first week of the new year, and it seems like it's already going by quickly, but I trust that you have um, taken uh, some time to really uh, just think about what what are some goals this year for yourself, and to just strive to be the best that you can be and i trust that that's all of our our goals that each and every day as i mentioned on monday that we would live each day better than the day before and um, even not just do it in our heads you know really really strive to actually accomplish that as opposed to just thinking about it and and making that something that we focus on but that we actually do it and I, i really think if that is our our main focus this year, um, to just live for Christ the best that we know how, then it, then it truly will be the best year of our lives. And I trust that that will be the case for you. I trust that you can look back on this year um, when it's over and just see all the wonderful things that God did in your life, perhaps even through trials in your life. Um, obviously, none of us know what will go on in our lives, but I trust that it'll be a good year and one that, again, we can look back and, and see all that God did. The last um, point I want to share with you today is rest. And as I've done the other days, I'll just go ahead and read through this and then say some things about it. It says, New Year's should be a time to rest. First, we rest in the reality of our identity in Christ. We may have failed to meet our heady goals in 2022. Jesus still loves us despite our failures, unchecked boxes, and disappointments at the scale. The gospel tells us that he loves us in the midst of these. It's not the voice of your Savior, but the whisper of the enemy that says you have less worth because you blew your resolutions or goals. A more successful 2023 will not make Jesus love you anymore. He's the one, after all, who calls broken sinners and empowers them for his mission. Failed apostles, former persecutors, recovering Pharisees, his body is full of them. And uh, just take a moment to really reflect on what he just said. I love how he says, a more successful 2023 will not make Jesus love you anymore. And I think sometimes we view life that way, that the more good things we do, the more Christ will love us. And that's just not the case, right? He loves us unconditionally, whether we do good or not, if we're saved. Um, and that's hard to sometimes, you know, do and, and definitely not to use that as an excuse to fail. But in spite of our failures, God still loves us the same. What a wonderful truth. Second, we should plan to physically rest. We don't often do this on New Year's. We plan to work and hustle. But do we schedule time to reflect and acknowledge our need for sleep and leisure? Rest isn't a sign of laziness or weakness. It's a sign of spiritual strength and confidence that when we close our eyes, our lives are in the grip of a sovereign God. To sleep is to say that we're not God and that the world can go on without us. And that's true. Rest is allowing God to truly take the reins and to do what he wants in our lives and in the lives of those around us. So as we make our plans for 2023, let's remember that even in our failures, we serve the one who remembers our frame and knows that we are dust. We make plans, but we hold them lightly. We entrust our future not to Evernote or Google Calendar or even a reading list, but to the King of Kings who holds the world in his hands. And again, so very true that um, even in our failures, despite despite our failures that we go through, God, um, he knows us. And I trust that you will use this new year 
and really rest in him and pursue a right relationship with him. Thanks for listening to the Walk Talks podcast. We trust that what you've heard today has challenged your walk with God. It is our prayer that through this podcast, every listener would strive to become more like Christ and faithfully live for Him each and every day. Join us next time, and God bless.